Speaking of sugar, this week Twyla's Neil Malawson is out in the sugar cane fields near Napoleonville. And Neil, as I understand it, some of that cane is not going to the mill. This cane field in Napoleonville is getting ready for the harvest in September, but some of it here in July has already been used for a brand new 100% homegrown product. Come with me this week to Sugarfield Spirits in Gonzales. Before joint, that's that's where the sugar is at. Sugarfield Spirits begins its story in a sugar field, namely those of Kenny Thibodeau in Assumption Parish. He's showing them off to owner Andrew Solto, who harvested some of this cane himself. Andrew brought some of the final product to Kenny with the coordinates of where it was harvested right on the bottle. In Gonzales, you can locate these bottles right here. The company started back in January of this year, and Andrew says using Louisiana products is at the heart of their business. So whenever I'm, I'm eating, like I try to eat as local as possible, you know, I go to farmer's markets and uh, do like that. We incorporate that, or incorporate that into our business. Uh, when I look at any of our spirits, like uh, like our rum, uh, it's uh, we use sugar and molasses. We get both of those from Lula Mills, which is in Assumption Parish. So this is coming from local cane in this region. They don't just use cane juice. Blackstrap molasses from the Lula Mill is also used here. Andrew's brother Thomas is the other owner, and he is making sure it's flowing as smoothly as it is slowly. The distilling process is quite involved, and we have a full tour online you can follow. However, what we can show you is these literal two tons of Louisiana sugar that will go into their products. In addition, Andrew says seasonal specialties from Louisiana are used throughout the year. We just sold out of our strawberry liqueur, which was really, really popular. Uh, we teamed up with a strawberry farmer in Springfield, and uh, he he hooked us up with the, with the strawberries, and uh, it made this awesome uh, liqueur. Uh, we, we've sold out of it until next year. Next year, we're going to probably do 10 times what we did this year. Andrew says even during the pandemic, the store is open on weekends where you can safely pick up some of your own. He says the closures were hard on their business, but people are still getting a taste for their products. We don't dwell on, you know, the hand that we're dealt ever. We're always uh, like, I guess anybody in, in agriculture or any farmer, they're always going to have you know, issues with regulations, issues with the weather, issues with, you know, whatever, whatever it is that, that, that you're facing. You just have to pivot, remain positive, and uh, do your best. And what do those farmers think of Sugarfield Spirits? Let's go ask the guy who grew the ingredients. This is just as smooth alcohol, I guess, as I've ever swallowed. I can taste, I can tell the cane juice is in it, but I mean, I, I know what I'm, I, I'm tasting. It's yeah, it's it's great. Now, while the cane juice from this field is used in this particular rum, they're experimenting with a number of different Louisiana products all across the board at Sugarfield Spirits. And Avery, yes, I am bringing some back with you. Please share it with Kristen so she doesn't feel left out. Well, Neil, Kristen took the week off, so that means I don't have to share, right? And I can tell you now, Rum Agricole is one of the cleanest tasting rums there is out there, so be sure to try it. Now, all of Sugarfield Spirits are available on the website. We'll link you over to theirs at twilatv.org.